Welcome everyone. What you see here on the top is a model that scaled up 50 times. And as you can see, the animation is just running right. On the bottom is the same model, but this time I applied the scale. And as you can see, the animation is broken. Actually, you can see here the root bone moving, but it is 50 times slower as it should be. And the model is floating above the ground. In this video, I will show you how you can fix this broken animation so it will look like the scaled one. Let's get started. When you start Blender, there are some objects that we actually don't need, so press A to select them all and X to delete them. Now, I want to also use Blender to add a root bone. The root bone is needed then in the game engines like Godot or Unreal Engines or Unity for the root motions. So there is actually a plugin on GitHub that can add automatically a root bone. I already installed this plugin, you can see it here. Actually, there were some issues with this plugin because of the broken animations on, uh, on scale. So I had to fix them. Uh, I actually wrote a blog post uh, how you can do this and also how you can fix the animations. So I will link it in the description. Now let's import the animations. We want also to add the root bone, so select this toggle button, then select the folder with the animations. We have these two animations running and some dancing on the spot. Then import the animations. Here are the imported animations. We don't need the armature without the skin, so we can delete it and select the other one. Now, you see that the model is now very, very small. It's 100 times more than it should be. So let's scale it up. Actually, I need it only 50 times scaled up. Now it has a decent size and it's 50 times scaled up. Let's switch to the animation view. Uh, we don't need this one. Let's make it like this. And now you can see, uh, let's change the animation, action editor, run. You can see that the animation is working now just fine, but we still haven't applied the scale, so let's apply it. And just look at the model, what happens when we apply it. Object, apply, scale. You see now the animation is broken. You can still see the root bone, this one small bone here is the root bone, is moving but it's moving 50 times slower. Now, before we fix this, uh, we have to understand what is, a, what is an animation. The animation, uh, let's switch to the pause mode, select all the bones. The animation is actually a sequence of keyframes where every keyframe have uh, transformations for the different bones. And a transformation can be scale, rotation, or location. The scale and the rotation aren't affected when we scale the model. So the only transformation that, that is affected is the location. So what we have to do is to scale the location transformations. Actually, when we apply a scale, Blender doesn't apply it to the location transformation in the animation, so that's why the animations are broken. So we have lots of bones here, but in reality only two bones have location, and this is the hip bone, this one here, you can see the location, and the root bone. So select these two. Now we need the graph editor to do the, um, to do the scaling. 
So let's open a new panel here. Let's change it to the graph editor. Now we want to scale from the zero, so we have to select the 2D cursor and make sure that the Y translation of the 2D cursor is zero when you are here. Now here we have to leave only the locations visible. So let's close everything and open the location for the hip bone and the locations for the root ball. Now here press A to select everything, then press S to scale, Y for the Y direction, and then just type 50. And we are done. The, <coughs> the running animation is fixed now. Now let's do the same for the other. leave only the locations visible, select everything, type scale Y 50. And this animation is also fixed now. Now using this technique you can fix every model that have broken animation when scaled. You All you have to do is just to find the bones with the location transfer <clears throat> with the location transformation and scale it. So that's everything for this video. Thank you for watching and till the next time.